Who has time for romance when you're this busy kicking asses? Ladies, Ellen. <laughs> Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 action movies without a love interest. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be sticking with feature films that are big on punches, kicks, headbutts, elbow drops, trips, bicycle kicks, excessive parkour, guns, shooting, bullets, countdowns, explosions, car chases, and helicopters, with no time left over for hugs, kissing, sunsets, or hand-holding. Also, a spoiler alert might be in order. You ready, rookie? I am. Number 10, The Born Supremacy. Send her alone, give her your phone. What if I can't find her? It's easy. She's standing right next to you. This time around, our favorite amnesia patient, Jason Bourne, finds himself still lacking in the memory department, but excelling in his particular brand of beating people uppery. <laughs> the film does tease us with the possibility of a romantic arc, or at least a sexy detour with Marie. But this comes to an abrupt end thanks to a botched attempt by the baddies to end the franchise early by taking out our titular hero. We don't have a choice. Yes, you do. This change in plans keeps the action set at 11 and lets Bourne focus on kicking ass and trying to remember names. Russian, CIA, or otherwise. I know I was here, Nikki! It's not in your bottle. It's not in your I know I was here! Number 9, Hot Fuzz. This can't switch off, Nicholas. And until you find a person you care about more than your job, you never will. This straight-faced action satire features Simon Pegg as London beat cop PC Nicholas Angel, an officer so good at his job, he outshines his entire unit. I know what you're going to say, but the fact is, you've been making us all look bad. Rather than use him as an example of excellence in law enforcement, Angel's superiors opt to derail his career by reassigning him to the countryside. But that's just when things get interesting. Arriving in a model town with a sinister underbelly, Nicholas stumbles into a community rife with petty villainy, childishly motivated murder, swans, and car chases. Interestingly, Peg and co-writer slash director Edgar Wright had planned to include a love arc, but instead gave the bulk of that dialogue to Sergeant Angel's naive but big-hearted partner, PC Danny Butterman resulting in a genuine, well-rounded friendship. Or bromance, if you will. Point Break or Bad Boys 2? Which one do you think I prefer? No, I mean, which one do you want to watch first? Number eight, Dread. Not so long ago, there were three main gangs hustling for control of peace trees. The Peyote Kings, the Red Dragons, the Judged. Their mama arrived. Fans of hunky dudes and hot ladies have plenty to look at here, but there isn't a hint of romance between this film's leads. Ready? Yeah. You look ready. Set in a futuristic dystopian United States, Keith Urban's Judge Dredd and Olivia Thirlby's Judge Anderson are too busy fighting for their lives against thugs, punks, and drug pushers to assess if there's any hormonal spark between them. Somewhere in this block are two judges. I want him dead. All that time spent not doing the horizontal bop frees up Anderson and Dredd to track down leads and crack a massive drug operation wide open. Defense noted. And maybe to take out a few bent judges along the way. What about we attack? Head straight for Mama. Is that an option? Well, she's guilty. We're judges. Number seven, John Wick. You uh, working again? No, I'm just sorting some stuff out. The master of the cinematic, whoa. whoa. Keanu Reeves stars as a loner ex-hitman, forced out of retirement. Why does he come out of retirement, you ask? To avenge the theft of his vintage Ford Mustang. How much for the car? She's not for sale. And the death of his dog, of course. But not only does the film avoid becoming a country song, it also doesn't provide the recently widowed John Wick with a love interest. When Ellen died, I lost everything. Until that dog arrived on my doorstep. 
a final gift for my wife. Instead, the film churns up action worthy of its Asian and Wild West influences. While Reeves trained with SWAT and Navy SEAL teams and studied both Japanese and Brazilian jiu-jitsu as well as judo to play Wick as an authentic badass. Number 6. Predator If it bleeds, we can kill it. When you have a film overflowing with action, warfare, a lethal alien, and some of the manliest men who have ever manned, it doesn't leave a lot of room for spiritual companionship. You're hit. You're bleeding, man. I ain't got time to bleed. Let's face it, you can't save the day with your pants around your ankles. Designed by special effects legend Stan Winston, with friendly input from Terminator director James Cameron, the film's villain looked like no alien ever before seen. When you could see it, that is. You're one ugly Banking on a good dose of innovative special effects and a healthy sprinkling of muscle mass, Predator's unrelenting and unsidetracked action was a massive hit with audiences and spawned a franchise that's still thriving decades later. Yeah. Stick around. Number 5. Lethal Weapon I suppose we have to register you as a lethal weapon. Alright, yes, Danny Glover's Roger Murtaugh is a married man. But to be fair, he'd already put a ring on it long before this movie came around. His partner, Mel Gibson's Martin Riggs, meanwhile, is a traumatized and suicidal widower. Do you want to hear that sometimes I think about eating a bullet? Huh? Well, I do. While a romance with that kind of backdrop could be complex and even thought-provoking, these reluctant partners have murders to solve, drugs to bust, and pimps to whack. Now that's a real badge, I'm a real cop, and this is a real fucking gun. In lieu of love, the film does visit love's polar opposite, porno and hookers. Get her out of this stuff she was into. She was making uh, videotapes, pornographic. But these blips only serve to fill out the seedy world our heroes are investigating. I'm too old for this shit. It's up for debate if Murtaugh really is too old for this stuff. But watching him and Riggs bust heads and find common ground is a satisfying ride nonetheless. Have a nice day. Number 4. Rambo Are you bringing any weapons? Of course not. You're not changing anything. Twenty years since his previous outing, cinema's favorite Vietnam vet returns to the big action big screen. <laughs> the ultimate loner. John Rambo is this time contracted to lead a team of mercenaries and rescue a group of missionaries from a pack of Burmese soldiers. Maybe you've lost your faith in people, but you must still be faithful to something. You must still care about something. Although the plot is in a large way set in motion by Julie Benz's Sarah Miller, who even encourages Rambo to finally return home, the film doesn't provide any romantic or sexual motivations for its lead. He didn't take anything and even avoids employing the well-used action movie trope of setting up a female character to be little more than the hero's reward. <laughs> Number 3. Mad Max Fury Road Together, come across some kind of redemption. Tom Hardy is hot. Charlize Theron is hot. Decades of movie logic tell us that these two will soon be topless and bouncing in and out of frame. But this 2015 blockbuster doesn't follow that route. Instead of having our leads bet each other, Fury Road sees Max and Furiosa work together to escape a cult and find sanctuary in a dismal dystopia. Don't breathe. The movie even provides us a five-pack of damsels in distress, a naked lady, and a guy named Erectus. I had a baby brother! I had a little baby brother! And he was perfect! And while most films would give in to at least one of these temptations, Fury Road stays on course, leaving Furiosa to live a better life and Max to continue his journey alone.
Number two, Aliens. Okay, what do I do? Where Alien was a horror film masquerading as a sci-fi, its sequel is an action film masquerading as a sci-fi. You started this. Show me everything. I can handle myself. With Ellen Ripley as the sole survivor of the previous film's expedition, Aliens shatters three action film expectations by having no romantic arc, a strong female lead, and Paul Reiser in a supporting role. You're going out there to destroy them, right? Not to study, not to bring back, but to wipe them out. That's the plan. Aliens probably could have shoehorned in cheap emotional threads, but as it was already saddled with bumbling marines and a slimy businessman with little value for human life, a love interest for Ripley would just gum up the works. It was a bad call, Ripley. It was a bad call. Bad call. The film knows this, however, and instead delivers the only thing we really want. Sigourney Weaver kicking alien ass. Get away from her, you bitch! Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Yo, asshole! This motherfucker's dead! Ain't no Chris Angel mind freak David Blaine trapped all horse shit jumping off here! No many repatriate feeling. Spirit is But Ian, this is a 44 Magnum, the most powerful handgun in the world, and would blow your head clean off. You've got to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? Number one, Terminator 2, Judgment Day. Come with me if you want to live. Ah, the movie that could have been. A world-weary Sarah Connor and a reprogrammed T-800 learn to settle their differences and, in time, learn to love. Is the world ready to accept the reformed robot and his human bride as they become a family and raise her troubled, delinquent son? Of all the would-be fathers who came and went over the years, this thing, this machine, was the only one who measured up. From the people that gave you the Terminator, it's Terminator 2, Wedding Day. Anyway, so that didn't happen. Instead, viewers had to make do with an unforgettable motorcycle scene, game-changing special effects, and a try-as-you-might unhateably cool Robert Patrick, whose T-1000 threatens to destroy and steal the show from Arnold Schwarzenegger's T-800 from title to credits. Hasta la vista, baby. Oh well, you win some, you lose some. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.